welcome to the viewers now we discuss the interesting and nature of a vector representations of the vector first let us demonstrate physically then we are going into the calculation mathematical calculation let's see what's happened at first if we consider the axis systems and suppose in these cases which figure we see here that's uh, in the vertical and horizontal shape of axis and that means here it is a uh, cases of x axis and it is for the cases of y axis and that means it is z axis and if we see that's this direction if we take it x if we consider and that direction that's y and another direction is z so x y z it's clear and now if we taking the standard basis uh, like in the cases of x axis if we consider this <coughs> as x then it will be one zero zero point if we consider here and that junction point and if we consider it as zero one zero and then if we consider these vectors and another points that uh, here that is zero zero one now for the vector if we consider here this vector and that vector and this vector are parallel to this vector clearly this vector is parallel to this vector and that vector so by the triangle law of vector this plus this equals to diagonal element this element and this element plus this element equals to diagonal of this element this will represent it another vector like that formations if we see another vector that will come from that to that and uh, finally that represented the vector r spatially and if we consider more larger instrument that's uh, here and that finally represented this total vector where we find this vector plus this vector by the triangle law similarly we apply we are getting this vector so in this way we take the representations of vector r physically uh, with the help of some material we arrange these few metals a uh, few pins to get an uh, elementary representations of vector r now we are going into the calculation let's see what's happened now for the part of the calculation it is clear that uh, this is already we given some demonstration x and y and if we consider here another axis system that's called z and that's bearing a vector and it's another vector then we are finding here the parallel vector so by the triangle law if we take here like p and q suppose the name and here it will be considered as r and this vector is q so this vector and that's represent as r and if we take another vector like s then and say different name p q if we say as t whatever may be the vector and it is s and finally we are getting r vector r vector will be t plus s uh, for representations so this r vector will be vector t plus s it is by triangle law and if we simply as an axis support systems if we are considering here uh, like the axis support system that's a better way of uh, representations and if we take it here in this way for z and it is x and it is y and suppose if this is xi and this is yj 
then this result in the diagonal element and that result will be xi plus yj and if we take another vector uh, like that the that point then that vector is j k then r vector will be represented as this plus this so it will be xi plus yj plus jk so in this way we can represent any vector r say whatever may be is xi plus yj plus jk this is a general representations of vectors uh, with this type of systems we end our discussion today if you like this video like it share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching